What's up all my Ewoks, Tribbles, Droids, and Wookiees? It's Anna, also knows that Star Wars girl. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about how the people that are in charge of She-Hulk virtue signal so freaking hard that they have to use pronouns now to refer to Hulk. But before we get into that, everyone, my channel is Hardcore Shadow Band here on YouTube. So every single like, share, comment really, really helps out me and my channel, you know, fighting the YouTube algorithm. And guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, maybe take a minute, smash the subscribe button or ring the bell for notifications. Make sure that that bell is set to all that you guys actually get notifications when I post videos and live streams. Now, with that out of the way, let's get on to the topic. All right, everyone. So I have this article pulled up. So now this, obviously, you guys can tell by the title is about one of the directors on the show and how she's talking about how the show is successful, which if you know anything about the characters, if you know anything about the universe, heck, if you are a normal human being watching the show with a shred of common sense and, you know, a, an average IQ, you can see the show is pretty fucking terrible. And everything that Jen says to Hulk, it it's like she you open up with a character who is very, very likable and you make her one of the most unlikable, ungrateful cunts on the face of the freaking planet. I mean, she's sitting there talking to her cousin who she knows went through intense trauma in his life and is a woman explaining to him about how, oh my God, her life is so much harder because she's a woman. It's like, are you kidding me? Do you not see how like absolutely ridiculous this is? Like, this isn't the way that humans talk to each other. And I mean, unless you're trying to play it off like, oh yeah, she's an ungrateful cunt. You know, like, unless that's what you were going for, which I don't think it was, like, I don't see how you can see this as a success. It's absolutely disrespectful to the character that they claim to be fans of, which if you guys watched my last couple videos, I showed how they... They aren't fans. They are literally, the showrunners are literally reading from scripts on what it is that they are trying to, you know, pitch. And I, sh I covered that in my uh, last couple of videos. I highly recommend watching them. All And all guys, also those videos and everything I show you guys in my videos are linked down below in the description of this video. All of my She-Hulk videos, all of the links, including this article, will be linked down below. But so this is an interview with uh, Kat. Uh, she's one of the directors, and it kind of goes into like a little bit of a backstory. And then it goes into the interview. Now, one of the things that I absolutely find ridiculous was one of the scenes in this show, uh, it when it's showing like her backstory and whatnot, and her and Hulk get into a car accident. She gets a drop or two of his blood in a cut, and that's what turns her into She-Hulk, which is like, you do realize that Hulk is blood over many, many characters, and there's not a million Hulks running around. You see how that just doesn't make any sense right there in and of itself? But she knocks out in the woods, then wakes up and wanders into a bar. And, and Jen is very intelligent. Remember, she's a lawyer. She's like the bestest, bestest ever. But she goes into the bathroom. Instead of talking immediately to the bartender, being like, hey, can I borrow your phone? I was just in a car accident. She goes into the bathroom. And then these women come in, start putting makeup on her. And like, oh my God, what did he do to you? Or she or they. So they're all very aware of pronouns. They all like to virtue signal. And one of the things in this, which I just find absolutely ridiculous, and I took a screenshot of it and posted it on Twitter. Uh, so what did you learn about shooting two Hulks together? When you shoot She-Hulk and He-Hulk together, you get to build up a lot of platforms uh, get to build a lot of platforms talking about like their heights and everything but this is just I just find this ridiculous it's like just call him Hulk just call him Hulk and I'm not the only one that finds it ridiculous a lot of people found it ridiculous exhibit A Twitter <laughs> now before anyone gets their panties in a bunch about this like oh my god Anna you're really complaining about this da, da, da. yes Yes, I am, because I, I think it's stupid. I think if you are the showrunner of a, what, uh, you're investing millions of dollars into this and you have people that are this vapid working on it, I think it's actually a problem. And so do a lot of people that are fans of this. So I saw this a day or two ago and I took a screenshot of it and I posted it on Twitter. Because yes, I think it's ridiculous. I think the fact that you have to 
the, the whole pronoun police thing, I think, is ridiculous in and of itself. Like, you just, just use common freaking sense. And it also illustrates a problem in our society as a whole, at least, you know, in uh, America and certain countries, where it's like you don't actually have issues. So people are creating issues like the pronoun police things. Like, oh, my, like if you misgender someone on Twitter, you get a permaban. But if you call someone a Nazi, uh, the N word, if you say, like, you know, if you use racial or ethnic slurs or just, you know, terrible slurs, that's okay. But if you misgender someone on Twitter, you are the embodiment of all fucking evil and you must be destroyed. And if you call someone the wrong name, uh, not, not, I'm not saying like a slur name. I'm saying like if someone's name used to be this and they legally changed it to this, you will get permabanned on Twitter. It's like... People don't have actual problems anymore, so they're creating these fake issues. I don't even want to call them issues because they're not. It's just if you're that sensitive that you get offended by that, then what are you doing? Like, you probably shouldn't be on the Internet. And so when I saw this, I just thought it was funny. And it's like, really, like the, you, you have to specify that. It, it's he Hulk as compared to just calling him Hulk because everybody knows that Hulk is a guy. And I, it's like, but that, that's the people that are working in this and that are in charge of this, that have power. It's the people that care about these non issues that have to bring it in and make it, you know, part of this thing. And it just, I just find it ridiculous. Like, you could literally talk about anything else, and this is what you decide to fixate on. And I know that you're going to say, Anna, well, that's exactly what you're doing right now. And I'm like, yes, I'm talking about something that they are doing. I'm covering the whole entire making of and show of She-Hulk. This is something that they are doing, so I am going to cover it, and I'm going to talk about it and tell you how ridiculous I think it is. Because it's like, if you didn't have an issue then you would just call him hulk because that's that's what he is but she refers to him as he hulk multiple times and it's like it's hulk it, it's bruce banner he's the hulk it's not he hulk it's the or the hulk the incredible hulk that's his name that 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 you know that that's his superhero persona so going in and fixating on this just it drives me crazy. And it did to a lot of other people because it's funny enough, the people that follow me on Twitter, the people that follow my content and my channel are comic book fans, are pretty hardcore comic book fans. If you read the comments on my videos, you know, they'll tell you the issue, they'll tell you who wrote it, stuff like that. And it's really fun when I do live streams because it's that interactivity where we can like look things up together and, you know, to have in-depth discussions about this stuff together. And so unless like, like this person, like unless it's He-Man, like where it's that's in his name is that he is he man it just it, it just seems like they're just trying to virtue signal to virtue signal if you didn't call him he hulk it would be fine everyone knows that you were talking about the hulk but then they're like oh well no it's she hulk i'm like yeah that's the character's name if you really want to get down and dirty into it, they had to, you know, create certain characters so that way they could use that IP because they knew that they were going to deal with uh, royalty issues and whatnot. That's why there's like the super Superman's dog. There's Supergirl. There's She-Hulk. You know, there's stuff like that. So that way they could still use IPs and names of things within the same universe and, you know, get away with any kind of legal issues with the create with the original creators of stuff. So this whole going on the He-Hulk thing, one, which I'm pretty sure it's number one, is the virtue signal. Two, are they trying to get out of royalties and stuff like that? It just... It's exhausting, and everyone else found it exhausting, too. The, like, the virtue signaling, it's just getting out of hand. Like, this person, this is just embarrassing. Exactly. It's fucking embarrassing. But, guys, 
this is why the show sucks so much because the people that are in charge of making it care more about what the it thing is to do and what the it issue is in modern day to cover and you know make that show that they check it off their little checklist of things you're like we have to get the pronouns correct we have to you know insult men and you know degrade men in every single episode we have to make sure that she's the bestest bestest ever and is better than anyone ever da 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 and every single episode we have to make sure that we do all that instead of actually telling a story instead of actually staying true to the character and the universe and the continuity but they don't care about any of that they care about virtue signaling more than they care about the actual character in the show which is why it's suffering which is why it's bad i mean it's so phenomenally bad and i'm the type of person that they're trying to cater to right they always want a virtue signal about getting more women involved in stuff and i'm like okay i've liked she hulk for decades now and what the fuck are you doing right it just it absolutely blows my mind and the more and more i look at the people behind the show the more like the less i'm surprised i am at the way that it is because it's like they had to have all women working on this show which is fine that that's fine but at least do your fucking research on the characters and the universe that you're fucking writing about that you're trying to make a show off that you're trying to market to people for money because they're trying to make money at the end of the day i mean i you would assume that the company wants a return on their investment right so you would assume that they would do a little bit of research into these things and instead what they do is they have you know these women go off and do interviews where they have to virtue signal and you know say kind of BS answers and then they give them like scripts and say oh here's like the talking points name John Byrne like here's the people to name drop here's the things to name drop and whatnot when they actually get their facts wrong which at some point I was like are they even trolling and again I covered this in another video which I would highly recommend watching but it's just exhausting it is really exhausting and I'm just like what the hell are you guys doing like they're they are their own worst enemies at this point and it it's absolutely exhausting and there's more episodes coming (laughs) like just when you think it can't get any worse it does but anyways everyone i just kind of wanted to talk about this because this was something that was going on on twitter and uh people were asking me they're like yeah when are you gonna do a video on this i'm like do i really have to and then it turns out that i did (laughs) because it didn't stop people are like still asking about it i'm like yeah all right i'll talk about it a little bit more in depth But anyways, everyone, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. What do you think about all this virtue signaling? Is it making you, is it like, is it driving you as crazy as it's driving me? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you guys like this video, please smash the like button. If you didn't, that's okay too. Thank you so much for watching this far through. Guys, remember every single like, share, comment really, really helps out my channel in their algorithm. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, maybe take a minute, smash that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications. Make sure that the bell is set to all that we actually get notifications when I post other videos and live streams. And until next time, everyone, I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And may the force be with you because we are really, really, really going to need it. Bye, everyone. What's up, everyone? And thank you so much again for watching my channel and my content. And if you would like to support me further because I am not sponsored in any way, shape, or form, as much as I want Mio to get behind me and sponsor me because I love Mio, I actually created something. I created a cosplay calendar of some of your favorite video game characters. And this is the second cosplay calendar I have done. Everyone really liked the first one. And so, you know, it. I really am uh, grateful for everyone that's come out and support this one as well. It means the world to me. We already broke the total from last year's entire campaign in the first 30 days of this campaign so thank you once again everyone so much for your support and if you guys are new here and you guys don't know me well then this is a really good way to you know get to know me and back uh, my calendar and support my channel there's a lot of really popular characters that were you know requested for the first calendar like Samus so I started off with her and unlike Hollywood as I try to give you guys what you want I try to give fans and nerds and you know all of us that have been told F you by Hollywood to give uh, you know you guys what you want and what you know i want which is staying true to characters and trying to you know do the best version of them that i possibly can so as you guys can see here this is my jill valentine i got jade from mortal kombat i got the one and only lara croft my girl lara then i have miranda from mass effect now i'm still adding images of these uh characters there are going to be 12 different ones and if you guys are interested in you know supporting an independent content creator like myself this is the way to do it i you know, do 
the photos. I, you know, do the cosplay. I ship everything out myself. So this is a one, you know, 100% my own project. So if you guys, again, want to support me and my channel and keep everything rolling, please consider backing my cosplay calendar. I would really appreciate it. The links are down in the description below. So please check that out if you guys haven't already. And if this isn't something for you, then maybe take a second and, you know, share it to somebody who this might be, you know, something they'd be interested in. And once again, everyone, thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.